Okay. All right, guys. So, like, this is me literally just trying to practice, like, my speaking and my just personal development through my yoga practice and as an instructor. So, feel free to follow my tutorial if you'd like or just enjoy me being a goofball trying to learn how to teach. Not trying. Learning how to teach and speak better and have better eye contact, posture, um, just like more clarity in what I'm doing. So this is this is fun and you get to be here with me. So <laughs> Roxy, my dog just ate a moth off the window. Okay, so anywho, um, so for today's practice my intention is literally just for hey <laughs> there's Roxy, she's in the video. It's just for you all to have um, the best experience and feeling good in your own skin. Yoga is not about like pushing it to the limits, like weight training where we're pressing all the way to failure um, with our muscles. Yoga is kind of like, <clears throat> it's like finding a balance between like, um, like feeling the stretch and feeling the muscles work, but then not going past that where you're feeling pain or feeling some sort of like crazy sensation that just doesn't feel right. So listening to your body is very beautiful and it always knows, like nobody knows your own body like you do. So this is me granting you permission to listen to your instincts and listen to listen to your own body. It's, it's a really beautiful, amazing thing when you do. Um, just a little bit about me. I've been teaching yoga for about five, six months now um, on a pretty regular basis and just beginner level one basic stuff but very important stuff in yoga. Um, also in yoga we just we just have fun. We we don't have competition with the, with the person on the mat next to us or um, even if you see like Oh wow, they're doing some sort of like crazy like handstand or some something more advanced, more um, more practiced, I guess. Um, just you know, let go of any expectations. Just be so happy that you're here today, doing the best you can amongst friends, and maybe maybe you're at home by yourself, and that's a beautiful way to practice yoga too. Um, just letting go of any of that judgment you might have for yourself and even others of course and really coming to center using our breath our breath is such a beautiful thing one of my yogi trainers and um, a beautiful expert in yoga told me one time that when you can control your breath you can control your life so it's a really amazing thing to use your breath to bring you back to the present moment the right now moment where you can do everything and you're infinite and where you're really just harnessing that that beautiful energy within us through the breath. And let's just get started in mountain pose. It might nice, be nice to have a mat. I, I have a cheap mat from um, TJ Maxx, so it's very affordable and anyone can do yoga even even y'all my thing is a little blurry okay so starting in that mountain pose in our mountain pose we're pressing through all four corners of the feet we're pulling the energy from the base of the heels all the way up through the legs through the knees through the hips pulling through the core navel is up and in chest is expanding wide hands drop to the side opening forward Shoulders roll up, back and down, squeezing the inner shoulder blades together. Crown is lifted, chin stacked right over the sternum. And we breathe, taking a nice deep inhale through the nose. And just a delicious exhale. Sweeping those arms up and overhead, and we round all the way through the shoulders, pulling navel up and in as we lift arms overhead, Maybe the eyes gaze between the hands. On, a, on an exhale, we'll swan dive, forward fold. So bending those knees, keeping them soft as we sweep the arms down to the side, 
spine stays tall and long as we hinge at the hips, lowering our head to the ground, hands drop to the ground, and we breathe, feeling the stretch in the hamstrings. Waking up the body just by the inversion, letting some blood flow to our head. So really releasing through the spine, lower back, shoulders, all just letting go. On an inhale, we pull the hands up the shins right below the kneecaps in a monkey pose. Crown is reaching away from the tailbone. Ears, <laughs> shoulders away from the ears, pull back. We'll bend the knees, sweep arms up and overhead, pressing through the feet. We're back at standing arms, reaching high. And coming back to that mountain pose. Finding centeredness, finding balance, feeling from the waist down, pressing to the earth, from the waist up, reaching towards the sky. Maybe the eyes close. I'll have to continue that later.